One day, the twin princes of the neighboring country, Tom and John, came to visit Cinderella's country. Prince Leo welcomed his guests happily, and they decided to organize a yoga party together. Chúng ta hãy tổ chức một bữa tiệc yoga, yoga lớn nhất thế giới ở đây đi. And maybe we will find our soulmates during this event. Meanwhile, Cinderella's half-sister Cassandra was combing her hair in front of the mirror, while Jezebel had secretly deceived her. Mirror, mirror on the wall! You are so ugly! What? When Cassandra got angry and threw her comb, the mirror fell to the floor, and Jezebel appeared. What? Don't talk to me anymore! Huh. While the two sisters were fighting, a messenger pigeon entered through the window. Oh! There's a note on his foot! That note is mine! No, it's mine! It came to me! In the end, the paper was torn in half! Half remained in Cassandra's hands, and the other half flew out of Jezebel's grasp and disappeared. Oh no! That paper flew away! Oh! On mine, it says, join the yoga party. Be our princess. I wonder what yoga is. Come on, let's sneak to the palace and find out. When night fell, Cassandra and Jezebel sneaked into Cinderella's palace, hiding from the palace guards and servants. They entered Cinderella's room. At that moment, Cinderella was sitting on the ground with her eyes closed and she was making a sound like um What is she doing? Oh, she cast a spell on us. Let's respond right away. Um Don't shout. Shut up. While Jezebel was trying to silence her screaming sister Cassandra, she tripped and fell in front of Cinderella. Uh, what are you doing here? We, um, we, uh, we're sleepwalkers! Cinderella was very angry with her sisters. We went for a walk in the dream. We opened our eyes and... We uh, found ourselves here. And what are you doing like this? Cinderella immediately understood why her sisters had sneaked into the palace. I was doing breathing exercises for yoga. I can teach you princess yoga if you want. Be by the river at 12 tomorrow morning. The next day, they met for the walking lesson. Cinderella gave her sisters books to carry on their heads. She drew a straight line on the ground with the twig she found somewhere around. As an example, she started walking on the line with a book on her head. Aha! It's so easy! I can walk even with two books! First, Cassandra took the step. Oops! The book fell to the floor. Ha ha ha! Watch me and learn how to walk. Princes will admire me. Jezebel put the book on her head. Took one step. Two steps. The book did not fall. In the third step, she herself also fell with the book. The sisters, who failed in the walking lessons, started the second lesson of the princess yoga training, the eloquence class. We breathe deeply and say, Mama Mimi, Mama Mimi, out loud. Mama, Mama, Mimi, Mo, Mama, Mama, Mo. But because Cassandra doesn't brush her teeth, bad odor spread from her mouth. Yuck, did you eat fish with chocolate in the morning? The next morning, they put on their sports clothes and met again. The starting movement of the yoga class was tree pose. A princess's posture must be beautiful. We can only achieve this through the tree pose. We bring our hands together and take a deep breath. Now we exhale slowly. <sighs> While Cinderella was breathing deeply, Jezebel fell asleep standing up. 
Cassandra, on the other hand, stuck out her tongue like a dog and kept breathing. Princess will definitely fall in love with me. Cinderella this time sat on the big Pilates ball and opened and closed her arms. While the sisters were trying to do the same, they sat on the ball so hard that the yoga balls exploded. The next day was the last day of princess yoga. Cinderella was going to teach her stepsisters the hardest yoga move. If you can do this, you will have completed the princess yoga classes. Let's say we've completed the lessons. I suppose the prince will like us, isn't it? They will marry us, isn't it? Cinderella smiled and lay face down on the grass and did the hardest yoga move. The stepsisters did the hardest yoga move in pain. It's so hard! I can't! My foot hurt a lot! Five? The sisters began to sweat. Four? Their bodies were trembling. Three, two. Just as the sisters were about to give up on movement, they dreamed of dancing with the twin princes. One. We, we did, did it. it. Finally, they did the hardest yoga move. Cinderella immediately congratulated her sisters and gave them a beautiful gift package. You finally completed the princess lessons. These are your rewards. The sisters opened the package curiously. They got very angry when they saw the sneakers and sports clothes in it. They threw the package and left. Cinderella tricked us. We will do her an unforgettable evil. Cassandra and Jezebel secretly took Cinderella's favorite clothes and immediately left the palace. The day of the yoga party has arrived. The sisters wore Cinderella's dresses and went to the party. But all the guests looked at Cassandra and Jezebel and laughed. <laughs> Welcoming their guests at the entrance of the palace, twin princes Tom and John were very angry when they saw the sisters. Did it you read the whole letter? You cannot enter in these clothes. Ah, my clothes! Why did you take my clothes without permission? Um, well, we... We thought we can't be princesses without these clothes. At that time, the sisters saw the twin princes holding hands with another twin girls, and they left the palace crying. After that day, they realized that being a good princess requires not wearing fancy clothes, but also being happy, eating healthy, and doing sports. Oh.